If you want to get something done, put a powerful person on your team. If you want to ruin the team, put two powerful people on the team. Productivity will decrease. This is the conclusion of a recent study by two academics, Angus Hildreth and Cameron Anderson at the University of California's Haas School of Management. The psychologists refer to this trait as dominance. The truth is, leaders need dominance in order to put themselves forward. It's a characteristic that emboldens their sense of autonomy, as well as their desire to be in charge. But as with all things, too much of anything is dangerous. It leads to arrogance and hubris, as well as a failure of accountability. This piece, which was quoted on NPR, offers some solutions. One is to allow less dominant individuals on a team work out the details before the powerful people become involved. Another technique is to allow each dominant person to preen a bit in front of the group before working collectively. This technique allows dominating types to prove their worth to others. Leaders do need to learn to defer. We do it naturally to our supervisors, but less so to our peers. And that's why, as this research shows, team function can be hampered by power-hungry team members. The team supervisor or senior executive needs to insist on cooperation and collaboration. The supervisor must make it very clear that success will require total team effort. Each individual is responsible for results. Failure to achieve is a failure of the team, as well as a failure of individuals who will be held accountable. Dominance is vital to leadership, but as with all power, it must be used appropriately in order to benefit others, not just the individual.